Profoto is much more flexible than typical WordPress themes created with only preset layout options. Profoto templates and a powerful layout editor put you in full control of the structure and style of every page of your website. Each Profoto design uses templates to apply structure and style to the pages of your WordPress site. A design template can be applied to every page on your site, certain groups of pages on your site, or even individual pages on your site. Let's take a look at the templates in this design by clicking into the Customizer Design view, where we'll find the Templates Manager screen. Every Profoto design has a base template which forms the general structure and style of the design. The general pieces of every page will be created here. Most designs also have child templates, which inherit everything from their parent template. My design has child templates, which add a sidebar and which remove the footer area from the layout. Another child template adds a large slideshow area near the top of my homepage. In this screen, you can click to select a template and then click to create a child template which will inherit everything from its parent until you make alterations. When you first select a design in the Profoto Manage Designs screen, an onboarding wizard will help you apply templates to pages. You can return to this screen anytime and use the Setup button seen here to apply templates to individual pages. But you can also apply templates in the WordPress Page Editor by clicking to select a specific template for your page. For example, I'll choose the About Me template for this special About page on my site, and I'll click to update with the change. When viewing this About page, it will show the special template I've applied. You can also apply templates to page types by going to the Customizer Design view, where you find the Templates Assignments screen. Many types of WordPress pages are shown here, and you can apply one template to each with the selector boxes. For example, we can apply a generic base template for every individual blog post page. Profoto uses a flexible layout editor screen to give you control over the structure of your base template and its children. Using different horizontal and vertical sections of the layout editor, you can edit and build beautiful, responsive layouts. Each page template is made up of several containers. Since blocks are the first containers in a template, they're a great place to add background colors, background images, or background galleries which apply to specific sections down your template layout. Some templates use several blocks to divide a layout into a menu area, a content area, a footer area, and so on. Blocks appear in the layout editor with a green left edge, and you can customize, drag and drop, or delete them with this left edge. You can also add a label to identify each block as you work. Rows are containers which fill each block from left to right, creating horizontal substrips within a block. Rows appear in the layout editor with a dark gray left edge, which also allows you to customize each row. Columns are containers which divide a row into vertical spans. Between one and six columns can be used to fill a row from left to right. Multiple columns can stack on top of each other to fit smaller screens like tablets and phones. Columns appear in the layout editor with a blue top edge and the same customize drag and drop, and delete options for each. You can also adjust the percentage of a row each column occupies with this span slider control. Each of these block, row, and column containers can have its own background color, background image, borders, padding, and lots of other settings to get the look you want. We'll show you some examples of this shortly. To add menus, images, text, grids, galleries, or other content, you can place widgets in a template. As you can see here, there are too many widget types to cover in this video, so click in our video to read about them on our website. You can also add a label to identify each widget as you work. Widgets stack on top of each other within their column. 
So if you need to place widgets side by side, use multiple columns. There are also some widgets like graphics widgets that allow you to set up multiple images which appear in a horizontal group in their column so that you don't need to make separate columns. Drag and drop widgets to change their locations. You can even click to copy a widget and choose where the copy should be pasted. The content area is a special widget region which is required in all templates. It can't be copied, deleted, or moved because it's where your page content will appear. Without this area, your WordPress page content would never be seen in the template layout. If you'd like to hide the content or the title of a page, you can check a box within the WordPress page editor screen, seen here. The layout editor is designed to help you focus on the structure of a template, but you'll also use this screen to apply many styling customizations. Click the Customize gear of any part of your layout to begin changing appearance. The changes you make will apply to that layout item, or its children, depending on the tab you're working in. For example, if I want to have some padding beneath each block section of my template, I'll click this top template level item, Use the Block Customizations tab and change the bottom padding. Each block appearing in this template will inherit this same padding. As another example, if I want each widget to use the same font style for the title and the text found in that widget, I'll set a font in this top template level as well. Each widget will have a consistent title and text appearance. But let's say I want to use a different font style for only the middle column of my footer block. I'll override the font style with this column alone. and the widgets here will be styled by the unique text appearance. You can even disable overrides you've made by checking this button to revert them. As discussed earlier, everything in a base template is inherited by child templates until you override with changes. I'll switch from the base template to a child template to show how this works. You'll notice that this child template has a new color applied to all the layout containers and lock buttons which appear in place of the add buttons. Since child templates inherit layout, widgets, and customizations from the parent template, these locks prevent accidental changes. They're a reminder that each child template will inherit the layout and styling from the parent unless changes are made, and that general changes should be made up a level in the parent template. In this example, we would like a unique sidebar column next to this page content, so we'll click to unlock the columns in this row. Now we can click to add the column. Let's also drag the column to change the relative width it takes up in the row. We'll also add widgets to the sidebar, such as a text widget. And a recent posts grid widget. This sidebar and these widgets will only appear where this child template is applied on the site. 
Earlier, this template was applied to the blog. And, as we see here, our sidebar appears with our changes. When you click to unlock and change a section of your layout like we've just done, you will break inheritance for that level of your child template. If layout changes are made in the parent, those changes won't be reflected. Avoid unlocking sections of your template unless that area needs to be unique and different from its parent template in that section. Let's also edit the new column's style customizations by clicking the gear icon. Here, I want to click to hide the sidebar on small screens. I also want to center all of the widgets in this sidebar. You'll notice that making changes here is exactly like we've seen before in the base template when I click Save. But let's try to edit the footer block, which inherits from the parent template. Here you see that the customizations are locked, and a notice appears. Again, the lock is a reminder to apply customizations in the parent template, or the inheritance for these settings will be broken for this item. If I were to make changes here in this child template, anything changed like background color, padding, or borders that is made in the parent template will not be inherited down in this child template. My style inheritance will be overridden and out of sync for this particular item. It should be pretty rare to change customizations for only part of your layout when it appears in lots of places in different templates. Make those style changes broadly by editing a parent template. Lastly, widgets in your layout are shared between the parent and the children. Changes you make to a widget are inherited everywhere that widgets appear, even if you modify it in a child template. For example, this text widget in the footer block can be changed here in the child template. But, since it's the same widget inherited from the parent template, changes are reflected everywhere. If you need to customize the content of a widget in a child template, Make a copy of the widget, and then edit that copy. New widgets you add will appear only in the child template where they're created, so you can delete the original. Profoto templates and the layout editor make it possible to work with a base structure and style for your site. And child templates give you the control to override that structure and appearance to create alterations and infinite variation. Apply your templates to different pages and page types, and you'll have a fully customizable site. You may even discover that you can create better page content layouts in a template than using the WordPress page editor. Click to learn more about using the layout editor and for lots more help on our website or to contact us for free guidance.